Good morning, everybody. This is Jeffrey Janta, and today is... Hold on. Phone was dirty. Today is September 22nd, 2020. I hope everybody's having a great day. Let's focus on you today and the things that you need to accomplish, things that you need to get done on this Tuesday. I have a lot of people that they are so quick to criticize people for the things that they do, the things they say, the things that they post, but they themselves never step outside the box. They themselves never do anything. The whole reason why I'm saying this is because one of the greatest things that you can do in life is you can be a mentor, you can be a leader, you can be somebody that accomplishes a lot of things. But if you're too busy scrutinizing and you know going over a fine tooth comb what everybody else is doing, and you yourself have never done it, then you have to ask yourself, is what I'm doing the appropriate thing? Is what I'm doing, does it even matter? If everybody else is doing it and I can criticize it. There are, there's a lady I remember once, and this is an example, okay? And it's an example of how closed-minded people are. And the reason why I need to give a close, uh, an example is because first off, I know the lady was a really good lady. I'm not gonna say her name, some people may know where I come from, what's going on. But we were going to name a street in Quincy, Illinois, by the name of uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, now Martin Luther King Jr., and by the way, this is not a black, white, religious thing whatsoever. This is me explaining to you why you got to quit being so closed minded. But anyway, Martin Luther King Jr., first off, he was a Republican. Uh, you know, there was a lot of stuff. That was also negative that he's done in his life. A lot of people know about, but we concentrate on the positives. And I have a dream speech, and we pot, we we concentrate on the marches that they did. However, this day and age, we were going to name a street after him in my hometown uh, a couple years back. Where I forgot how many years back it was, but we were sitting there talking about naming a street. And there's one particular lady who would come to the council meetings, and she refused. To let us ever, she just did not want it to be named Martin Luther King uh, Boulevard or whatever. And it was funny because she was the only one that was sticking up, and it was really kind of pathetic. And I hate to say it, because she was so close-minded to the idea, and she grew up in a world to where you just don't do that kind of stuff. But she closed herself down to the ideas and the reasons behind it. When we close ourselves off to new ideas, new reasoning, when we close ourselves off to new people, to, you know, to, you know, when, all, when we have to talk bad and negative about things we know nothing about, all because that's how we were raised or all that's because how we, you know, we, we interpret things, okay? Then we are shutting ourselves off to the world and it's a very negative thing. I look at people in Iran right now who are doing their best to get freedom, but the government will not let them have any freedoms. I look at Cuba, people have no freedoms. I look at Venezuela, people have no freedoms. Now, why do I say that? Because right now you have a chance to go out there today, today, mind you, and be a better person. You, you can live the way you want to live. You can dream what you want to dream. And But if you don't have the heart for it, if you don't accomplish it, if you don't understand that you're gonna fail, and that you're going to fail over and over and over again, and that's a positive thing. And all you do is you, you complain, then nothing will ever get done. You see, this is not about religions or race or creed or politics. This is about going out and being kind. Going out and doing the things that you want to achieve. Now, if it's, if it's bad, of course it's bad. and we, we all should know the difference between right and wrong. But if you want to go out and open up a business, you can. If you want to go out and move to a different city or state, you can. If you want to go to a different religion, you can. If you want to date somebody else, you can. If you want to get out of a contract, you can. If you want to go and basically make more money, you can. If you want to go join the services, you can, okay? And the reason why I say a couple different things there is because you have options available. And if people haven't done that option yet, then go out and do it. Because there's nothing holding you back. Now, if you go to other countries, believe it or not, you're going to be held back for all of your belief system. Okay? 
a lot of people that support these communist countries that support socialism and support you know a place like that, they don't understand that first off their populations aren't all that big and also their people would do anything to come to the United States when you go out there today, the reason why I say go out and try to become a foreman, go out there and get that management job, go out there and go to school because there's always a way, there's always a trick that you can use or do to go to the next level, to become a better person. It's not the idea it's going to be given to you because nothing is ever going to be given to you. Everything must be earned. Everything must be taken with a grain of salt because everything's going to come with pros and cons. You can't just go out and become the president of the United States. You've got to basically get people on your side. You got to raise the money. You know, you've got to know the politics. You know, you no one's going to just not everybody's going to go out and be a priest because they can't do it. Not everybody is going to train horses. Not everyone's going to work in factories. Not everyone's going to be a doctor. Not everyone's going to be a lawyer. But when you have millions and millions of different things you can choose from, and if it's not there, create it. You have that right. You have that freedom. You have the freedom to do whatever you want for as long as you want, as long as you're not interfering in anybody else's space. And I say that with a full heart because so many people, they criticize before they will celebrate somebody. They will put somebody down before they realize what's going on. They'll sit there and say nasty, ugly things. I can go on Facebook and probably the first 30 things I look on somebody else's page, I usually just delete people that put negative stuff down. But I can go and tell you which people are happy, which people are not. I can go on there and tell you by a person's comments what's going on in their life and if they're actually happy in their life. And the reason why is because the more negative somebody is, the more they're having issues in their own life. The more negative somebody is, is the things they wish they had more. I have a lot of people that I've seen in my life. You know, I've been on top. I've been on the bottom. I've been rock bottom. I've been freaking sky high. And I have seen the good and the bad of people. But there's people, they're bottom feeders. You know, they want everything you got, but they don't want to put the work involved. They want to tell you they're going to do things, but they're never going to do it. Because they won't do what it takes. They will not put their work, they will not put the work involved in doing it. Every day in life, you must put the work involved. You must do what you have to in order to survive. But on the other hand, sometimes in order to survive, you've got to be a better person. Be the bigger person. You know, if you're too busy con um, condemning people for the things they say, think, or do, and you yourself are not willing to go do it, it's like, you know how many people, and I'm going to leave it at this because i got to get the meeting I get to. Look at it like this. Do you know how many people said they were going to join the Marine Corps? Shoulda, coulda, woulda, but didn't. You know how many people said, oh, I'm going to be a Marine today. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, didn't. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, didn't. If, ands, and buts got them nowhere. They never became military. They never became a Marine. But I was going to join. I was going to join. I was going to join, but they didn't. So today, don't be the I was going to person. Be the person that you are. Be a person that means that you don't have to rely on negativity and harassment in order to get your point across. Earn everything in life. Be a better person today than you were yesterday. I'm Jeff Jansen. I get going, everybody. Bye now.